Currently, we're expanding our hospital, doubling the size, adding an 11 floor patient tower out front, combining two hospitals in town here into one. The generators that were over 40 years old, it was time to upgrade them. So they came to us looking for a solution that would work for them to power the whole campus. This system here is a four megawatt system that's composed of four C32 gensets. Each genset equipped with an electronic breaker, which is controlled by the generator control panel. This system allows us to create a smaller footprint, but yet still maintain the Caterpillar quality and reliability. Onboard paralleling eliminates a huge footprint that you don't have to have with switchgear. Um, not only that, it's self-integrated, it's mounted on the controller. The advantages of the onboard paralleling with the 4.4 control panel setup is a uh, small footprint and the simplicity of it will fit into a small space. We didn't have a lot of room here. We kind of had to build our own separate little building to stuff everything in. That, that helped a lot with that planning and uh, and then the cost is a, is a huge, huge deal in all hospitals. When it comes to preventive maintenance on these generators, since they're all seamlessly integrated with Caterpillar, it's Caterpillar controls, Caterpillar gens, Caterpillar engines, everything's CAT. So when our technicians come out or we come out, we can talk to everything that there is. We don't have a third party switch gear involved. That provides a tremendous amount of value. It shrinks down their service responsibility where they don't have huge costs and different vendors that they have to deal with. They deal with one vendor and we can handle the whole power envelope. The 4.4 control panel paralleling system is constantly communicating back and forth between all the gen sets that are hooked together through the MGDL cable. Plug and play basically. You plug these cables in, you connect all your gen sets together, you program five different parameters to MGDL, and you instantly have all five or all four, however many generators you have, uh, communicating together. Michigan Cat walked us through the whole system, how to run it, how to test it, what to look for. They're always a phone call away. If we have a question or an issue, we can call them. A lot of times just confirm what we think over the phone. I think it's definitely going to be an emergence trend. Onboard paralleling eliminates a huge footprint that you don't have to have with switchgear. Not only that, it's self-integrated, it's mounted on the controller. Very cost-effective instead of going to full-blown switchgear, and it provides a lot of what a switchgear normally would provide. Anytime you can shrink that down, make things seamless, integrate it, it's always usually a typically a win. Onboard paralleling of the generators has been awesome, no issues pretty critical piece when you're running a hospital with patients in critical care and surgeries going on and I mean you can sleep at night no worries. I'm about as confident as I can be that these generators are going to do the job when they're called upon.